Hey everyone, my name is Eric Somerville and I just want to give you a quick tutorial. I've been getting a lot of questions on trimming. I'll show you three different kinds of controls and how to properly trim your quadcopter or helicopter. And a lot of these will carry on over into airplanes as well. So if you're a beginner flyer, uh, pay attention because this is really important to get good flight performance out of your aircraft. Okay, some of the things that will cause quadcopters to uh, be out of trim is, you know, sometimes when you crash these, the blades get bent. So, you know, one blade might not be performing as well as the other. So you might need to allow some trim so it doesn't drift off to the side. Um, other things would be like stronger motors, maybe one motor slightly stronger than the other ones, or one might be weaker than the other ones. Um, then you can trim and get uh, that back in balance. Another thing is weight distribution. This is a really small quad, so you're not gonna be attaching anything to this one, but if you have a larger quad, you're putting cameras on or antennas, um, sometimes the weight distribution will be off and you can trim to get it back in balance. And I'll show you how to do that. So for the Cheerson, this one I reviewed, I'll put a link to the video over here. This one does have trim tabs. They're very tiny, but they still do work. So the way I like to do it is you first wanna get the quadcopter up hovering off the ground just a you know maybe a couple feet now it's very important when you're trimming your helicopter or quadcopter not to do it close to objects like a couch or a wall because that's going to create turbulence and it's not going to be you're not going to get an accurate trim so make sure it's out in the open away from any large objects so now that you have your quadcopter or helicopter hovering you're gonna to wanna to pay attention to what in inputs you're putting in to keep it hovering in one spot. So if mine's really out of trim and I'm having to put a lot of right adjustment in, then go ahead and land it and then put trim tab in the direction that you were correcting in. So I'm putting a lot of right control in, put a lot of um, trim in, and then go ahead and take it off again and see if that fixed the problem. Now, as you get better at trimming, you can actually trim while it's in the air. A lot of people like to trim it when it's flying, but if you're first getting started, I would just take it off, find out what direction you're needing to put corrections in to keep it level, and then go ahead and land it, make your adjustments, and then take it off again. Now, different controllers are gonna have different trim tabs, um, but they all do the same thing. This is a SIMA controller. And the nice thing about some of these bigger controllers is you can actually see how much trim you're correcting for. So as you put in trim, you can see the little bar down here. You can see your trim get higher and higher. Okay, so for this example, let's say your helicopter's out of trim. So what you're gonna do is with your trim tab here, you're gonna correct this until you get that tail nice and steady. And that's how you trim. And the same goes for side to side, back and forth. So that's my tutorial on how to trim your helicopter, quadcopter. And if you guys have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. I do my best to try to respond to everyone. I hope you guys found this helpful. If you guys like my video, please thumbs up. And if you want to subscribe to watch some reviews, please subscribe to my channel where I review both the uh, Saima and this Cheerson quadcopter. Thank you.